Oh, yeah. And then maybe, you know, if Crab can get both of these next two games, oh, yeah, maybe they'll, yeah. they'll be moving on up. All right, so we are moving into the first game of round four between Crab and Super Sculptures. Land Scooble Chacho does not have a sculpture. Why are they doing? Why are they doing? <laughs> Why are they doing? And Crab, they do have a Crab by the support. Oh, <laughs> we okay. Have no crab. Never on mind. The side crab. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like the Super Chacho does have a Crab, uh, but the comp honestly does have a. Julia bomb from a Julia from Google stuff from Google. Ads. Yeah, it's very interesting. We do already have one down on Crab. Um, they do also already have an inkjet ready from the uh, Anakin Nova. As you can see it right here. Uh, this is a weapon that really gets their special so fast. I mm. I honestly like to call it really just an inkjet machine more than anything else. Oh yeah, for sure. The inkjet machine does get shut down though by the side of Super Charger, mostly from Ginger, and we see them already for Super Charger going to the first checkpoint. So far, mostly we can see from both spots. Crab has some more range, while well, Supercharger has more aggressive. We would seem that Supercharger would want to go full heads on, but the, but the battle of that is, do you want to get bait spread by a splasher like that? Oh, oh! Two down on the side of Super Sculptors. Really, really good push Ooh. on the crab side. Oh, you're talking about the inkjet machine right there. That was a double from the inkjet. Yeah, and their blaster has been doing really, really well today. We see already the wave breakers coming out. They're going to be camping the drop, making sure they are controlling space so that Super Sculptors cannot get back in. And you see uh, their blaster oh. first went over there on the right side to control the drops from spawn. They're still, still camping those drops. Oh. Doing an amazing job. Yeah, that's four, that's five right oh there. Oh my already. god! They need to stop <laughs> gas somehow, but they can't. Uh, maybe the gas, maybe can do that, and it does. But still, the oh. damage has been done to go to the second checkpoint, maybe to the third one. But the ain't that killer still goes into play. They are still pushing here. And they get the lead here. It, uh, really, really good that they got both those first two checkpoints. And so they, you know, were able to take the lead there. So really, Super Squelch is going to have to get control of, of mid here and move on from their flat. But it's going to be really, really difficult because mm. Crab is not lit up on the aggression. Crab is just going for it, going with the range advantage to not let anything go. And the buff like that would help with Tinker and bump that Nova, too. Now, that is what we've been talking about with Crab. They have been just, you know, even when they don't have an amazing first push, they are so good at turning things around. You know what? It kind of is just like a Crab. <laughs> like, it's kind of like the Crab weapon itself. It starts slow and it keeps on going, but as we look at the replays right now, at the first few seconds of the game, we see already the one down and we see the inkjet killer go into play. Oh, that inkjet machine did a lot of good work, just like, putting on pressure and controlling space hmm. and really good work from the uh really all the teammates from crab yeah coordinating and working together especially to push push super squelchers on hmm. those checkpoints even if they couldn't prevent a checkpoint being taken just yeah. to you know to put on the pressure and to not let up yeah and we can see for sure for super structure that they can't really fight that out they the double duty comp is a really niche kind of Iffy pick, if you say in my opinion, because you have a quick one and you have, and you have a slower but powerful kind of dually. In that case, you would mind maybe want to go for a different booyah, maybe the, like a pro or something. That would be better, or even Aeros way. People <laughs> were talking about that. So this wasn't on stream, but I did get to uh, catch. Uh two teams doing an all aerospray oh. match earlier today. It was oh. very, very funny to watch. Was it so yeah, that, that blaster here yeah. is just doing amazing work. And as a uh, as a Tetra main, I know like I, uh, within my team, which also struggles against really good blasters, hmm. we our plan is always, as uh, the Tetra, I have so much more mobility than the blaster. Hmm. And our support makes sure to paint up around the blaster to also contain their movement. Hmm. And on uh, Unfortunately, Gloog is a, it's got that nice range, but it is so slow. And also, isn't the sub a wall? It is. Yeah, like in that chance, it's a more stopper kind of thing. That would be better for something like Rainmaker, as we see it's coming up right now, or even something like Clam Blitz, which is going to be next. But for tower control, it might just been a different play that they want to do. Maybe a different weapon that they might actually be doing this time. But yeah. for Bottle and Diamond Rainmaker, though, again, how do you think? This is a very <laughs> snowbally map, <laughs> so we will see what happens. I am wishing both teams the best of luck here. We will see 
how much perhaps perhaps Super Sculptors brings out more paint. Uh, Crab's been chanting. <laughs> yeah, uh, the one thing to know is if you are loud against the other team, that is a good distraction and you can make them throw themselves off. And if you say why not for Crab, we still don't say Crab for them. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think they're sticking to the no crab. I didn't. I didn't really see a crab in earlier rounds from them. Hmm. But we do see the cool coming out from the side of crab, which is different. But on the side of super structures, we do see a whole comp change coming from an anzap to double duty, which is a tetra and a dapple, and we do see the structure. Wait, what? That triple duty? There's that inkjet again, and yeah, already like so many people on both sides went down in the first 30 seconds. That's hmm. just. That's going to be how this map mode goes. It is really quick. Yeah, and we can see a way on the side of Super Charge. It's only one person line. That was the Tetris. And we see the tri structure from Ducky coming into play. They're mostly going to go for sneaky stuff, but mostly the team that are going to go off with the tri strike. And they make it fast for a check away. So it's mostly going to snowball it, like you said. Yeah, at this point, uh, Crab really yeah. just has to <laughs> clean up. Yeah, you can see they had that an amazing first initial push there and then just steamrolled by not letting up on the aggression and that, that is how you win on barnacle and dive it's it's a small map also people are still pretty unfamiliar with it yeah but how long was that like 40 30 seconds what well, 45 seconds I think. yeah yeah under a minute yeah, I know, man. But still, we see the inkjet come into play again, just going for that shot immediately on the dapples, I think that was. But that was a pretty cool pick from them. But over on the end, though, again, for the side of Prab, they made it 2-0. Well. They won the set. Yeah, so. they've got their sets. So we'll see if they, you know, make it a clean win. Yeah, or they make it 2-1, but it is possible and it's still good if they make it 2-1 for Super Chargers because tiebreakers is a thing. It's very important, yeah. So yes. it's important for them for their tiebreakers. And even on, like... When you're the team that's losing 2-0 in a play all three, hmm. it still feels good to take that one that one win. You'd be like, you know what, like you guys got the set, but we did take a game off of you. Hmm. And but honestly, here's the thing too that's different. Super Chargers, they don't really care. They're having fun. Yeah. That, that's the main thing. If you're just having fun, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it, this is the line of it. You just have fun and be happy. Yeah, a lot of times people at LANs come together and it's really, while it's a competitive event, it's also very much a social event. Yeah, literally. Like all events from Kalahoe from a long time ago with Long Island, like all the way to the Midwestern with Level Up, I think that's the thing. Uh, I know there were the California uh, land yeah. that uh, Hammer from Kingmaker recently started. Yeah, down one. Like, it's all for fun. And yeah. these two teams are having fun, even though one of them is down too. But the kids don't get the game, though. This is Blind One on Clown. Look at all those Doolies! Oh my, wait, <laughs> my wait a second. Look wait at a all second. Those doolies. <laughs> okay, so the Doolies that we have is a Crab, a Weave Slider, and Chumps <laughs> with the 52 Gal being for. The aggro on the side of crab. What do they have? This this is an amusing matchup. I I did hear the team earlier on Super Squelchers talking about duelies, and I think a lot of them are just having fun playing duelies. And like that makes me happy as yeah. a Tetris user. <laughs> yeah, you can see the Tetris right there, but they want to get three down. But in that path, they are trying to get a clamp ball working, and they are up by one, and they do clam. Four. Yeah, Crab was able to take control of here. Like like Barnacle, this map on Brinewater is it's it can, can be pretty snowbally. Um, Clam Blitz is a little bit of a well, when I say a little, it's a lot slower. Than right oh here. yeah, <laughs> definitely a lot slower because it's basically just a long, long walkway if you think about it. But yeah. in this term, the checkpoint does finish for the side of Crab, so Super Charge does have a chance. But if the yeah. blaster says anything about it, no. Uh, yeah, the important thing on the side of Super Squelter is, you know, even though Crab is still, they have not lit up on the aggression. Mm. Uh, that first push of theirs did not get below 60, and mm. it is sort of key when you're making that first push to really try to get below 60 points, mm. because uh, a, a t just getting 40 points for yourself is, is they still weren't able to make below 60. Yeah. Just two two power clams and another a single clam will get the other team to lead. Yeah, but the main thing for a reason like that is because the clam spawn rate is not that good compared to other maps, so you can't really get that quick if you want to. You just need to wait for a little bit if you want to gather other clams and you can keep on training. But that's a double coming from Ducky, and also the clams will keep on going in while we see the star shower and another player on the side of Crab trying to desperately find clams to keep it open. 
Yeah, their, their machines been doing a really, really good job in the games like watching her. Just really, really controlling space and uh, supporting teammates. Mm. Like being a very, very, you know, aggressive slayer. Mm. Super Skull just going to have to try really hard to delay this. If they can get a flank in oh. to really try to group in together to stop them. Mm. Oh, there we go. They got one with oh. the two. All right, it, we, there are three down. Stopper. It's a stopper, yeah. So they made it on seven, but for the time, this is now Super Skull's turn to have a chance to push in. They have two power plants away, but they just need to get a kill. They if, need to kill the blaster. If they, they need can to get a cast. good pick here, they could absolutely score some points. Yeah, Gas, the Nova, those two are the main victims right now that they should be coming off. But no, Gas does no and kills them off instead. So that's going to be one down for the ball. Two down now, two more left. Yeah, if, if Super Skull can just stay alive here, and, you know, they're going to have to give up some space. That's a really risky jump. Ooh. <laughs> That was a really risky jump. <laughs> it definitely was, yeah. but that's an event in Newton Yeah, oh, yeah, oh. they're going to have to take a step back really quickly and just take a breather. It's, But it can be really stressful when you're in the moment, especially on stage. Hmm. Uh, well, if you think about it, like, do they need to play like one more special play, like Crab has been doing, or do you think that they just want to keep on going in full aggro? Like, go with Ginger the whole thing. What do you think? Yeah, I think Ginger's been doing a really, really good job. I think a lot of it is just making sure to take those team fights together. Hmm. But they're really trying to stay alive and build up a power plan. Just, you know, hopefully get jumps in quickly. Oh, unfortunately it goes down. We love plan bets. <laughs> we love them if it's a spawn way, you know. But still, we still see Gasco going off, getting his solo again. Just, just stopping all his scoop judges from even advancing with the help of the inkjet killer again. As Amari, I think, too. Crap's but, doing amazing sticking together here and fighting as a team. Not that I was Ballsor, so congrats, Ballsor, you did well. <laughs> Alright. Did take down the crab. You know, crab's a really powerful special, but machines have still a good counter to it, despite any of the nerfs. Yeah, but getting the aim as well was perfect for them as well on the side of Supercharger. On the two side of Crab, actually, but still. It's 7 to 100. Super Cultures need to find some kind of opening, basically to kill two, which they do not have right now. But the Reefly is coming in back again, but oh. getting cancelled immediately. The Inkjet was up too high and too far away for the Reef Slider to get it. Uh, Inkjet Killer. <laughs> yeah, that's all we can say. Inkjet Killer, man. Inkjet, <laughs> Inkjet's a really good special right now in the meta. Yeah. yeah, but we can still see that for Crab. They're mostly going to go for another push. They have one more clan left and then they can go full in. They just need the Blaster to do Blaster Clan to the Nova and then they can just start the end finale, basically. Yeah, they're, okay, they're, they're starting to charge with their specials now. Uh, so far, there are no. Well, oh. now there's one special used on Crab side. Yeah. It's too aggressive. It's to start the battle, as we can see right now. That's two down. Oh. Side scope, that's three down. Three. And that's, that's it. beautiful. <laughs> and that's the 3 0 sweep, isn't it? That is a clean 3 0 win on Crab's side. They have not lit up the aggression at all. Hmm. And on side of Silver 12 Screws, even though they went for the triple dually, they still tried. You know what? I'm proud they did triple dually. I'm always telling people duallys are good and fun, and you should really play what's, you know. Hmm. You, you have to decide what is more important to you, especially when you're coming to a land setting. Hmm. You're going to be facing, there's no skill cap. This isn't like a yeah. low-level tournament like Little yeah. Squid League, which was happening earlier today. And if you're here and you know, like, there are going to be teams who are going to outmatch you, hmm. Really, all you can do is uh, keep your mor morale up, have a good time, play the weapons that you're comfortable playing, yeah. and, you know, just have fun time playing Splatoon. Yeah. And not online. <laughs> oh, yeah, not online, because we have so many lanes, see, like, plus 20 milliseconds, you know? But still, we can see from the replays right now, with the zero lane, see, how good gas was with the blaster, and oh how good gosh. also as well the the toss machine was for a little bit too. Getting the perfect aim shots that you can't really get online sometimes because you know, people's internet is all the thing. Yeah, they I really have, I have nothing bad to say about how, you know, Crab played this. They kept the aggression up. All four players did great. Their uh, Neo Splash was making sure to strike correctly. Hmm. They were very good aggressive support. That oh. Anaki Nova was just constant she, ink jets she, one after the other. They were going in on it. <laughs> and, and that, the Blast from the Machine were great slayers. Yeah. And also, if you can look at uh, Bravo team, they might be trying to be maybe twin partners or something. So far, we can see it on camera. Yeah. It, it, pretty cool. Like, th like, and that's the thing too. Like, if you have a whole team or maybe a pickup that you think about it, and you might play more, like, try to find people to play with and maybe try to try, try go for a scrim and stuff. 
Yeah, like the cool thing about playing in lands is that you get to meet so many people. Hmm. And uh, if you find that you're like, you're vibing together personally and also just playing together, you know, hmm. that your your play styles mesh up really, really well. Yeah. Uh, if you're all, you know, not that far from the area, you can always come back the next time. Yeah. This this is not Metro Inc.'s first event, and yeah. nor will it be the last. It was like, they 